Okay, friends, we're back. Sorry about that. We had an internal uh, error message from uh, Be Live. We apologize for that, but Michelle and I have persevered and we're uh, still so excited to speak with you. Uh, Nicola, maybe you could give us a thumbs up if you can hear us now. It's good to be back with you all. And so again, on the topic of uh, the nature of true love, we started already a little bit, but uh, we'll kind of begin again because this um, gets recorded and, and replayed. And so I just want to introduce you, Michelle, again, um, just a, an incredible woman, participant from Canada, and uh, so glad to be here with you. Um, you've been immersed in the Four Mainstays uh, Support Network for quite a while and Balance View. And I've personally um, had the honor of just working closely with you and seeing the incredible transformation that has taken place uh, over the last many years, and especially in terms of love and relationships. So it would be great to hear, you know, kind of what it was like for you prior to being introduced to the true nature of love, to the true nature of, of your mind and how your relationships were, what your uh, kind of habitual behaviors were or actions were in terms of seeking that love, seeking that wholeness, um, seeking or searching for that just satisfaction outside of yourself oftentimes is what we do. And uh, and then what happened and what life is like now. So, yeah, good to hear from you. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Mia. Um, yeah, I love that uh, that uh, the track that was just it caught on to your word, thought, 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 going around like that. It's like my mind was playing on this live stream. It's really <laughs> great. Uh, yeah. Um, but anyways, uh, it was been really good to just kind of look back over my life in the last few days and just seeing how you know from for sure a young age like I was never taught that you know I was love that that love was within me it was always something outside of me and I was always taught that um, I needed to look a certain way and that, you know, be a certain weight and I needed to attract um, a man with money and prestige and um, that would that would bring me fulfillment in, in life. And um, then also, you know, getting a bit older into my teenage years, uh, I was um, quite a devoted Christian and I went to like a Christian boarding school and there was so many rules and I was taught that, you know, sex was bad and that, um, yeah, again, that love was something outside of myself. And, and there was just so many rules that I had to follow to be felt, to feel like I was good and worthy and loved. And, you know, if I broke those rules, I was bad and, you know, maybe I would go to hell and I would have to have, ask for forgiveness and... And, you know, I just really, it was really like, I really had to be a certain way to, to be loved. And so, yeah, I, I put that out there too. And, and people would also have to be a certain way for me to love them, for sure. Um, it was just really out of the question that you could act a certain way and and that I may be perceived as as not good or as bad and and I couldn't love you because of those things it's exactly how I saw myself and and so um yeah I, I searched for love I think in a lot of outside things like in traveling in 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 men in I looked for love in work and <clears throat> I just remember having the most amazing job working for the park service in Alaska and it was like my dream job. I was hiking every day in the most beautiful mountains. Um, the cabin overlooked glaciers and it was so gorgeous. And I was so 
not fulfilled. Like I was shocked that I was not fulfilled by this completely perfect setting. And, and um, in fact, I, I was depressed there. And, and I thought that was going to be totally so fulfilling for me. And so, um, yeah, I, I, I continued. I Before finding Balanced View, I was in two long-term relationships. And um, I have three children from those relationships. So one from the first relationship that was um, eight years. And then two from the second relationship, which was seven years. And excuse me, I'm going to get some water. Hmm. And um, by the time I found Balanced You, I really felt like I'd made some like bad choices in my life concerning um, partners and and people to be with um, as lovers. And and um, I could see that in those relationships, it was really held to me that I was to make the other person happy and that they were to also make me happy. And, and that was just like an unspoken um, given in the relationship. And <clears throat> my um, first relationship, I, I actually left um, for the promise of true love. And I could see that so clearly once I, I started this training that I just, I, it, it was just like this total illusion. I, I just thought that I had found someone who completely loved me for who I was and was, you know, treat me like a queen and, and everything I'd been looking for, but yet there was still things missing. And, um, and uh, yeah, I, that relationship ended really with a lot of heartbreak because um, uh, there was some mental illness that, that kind of, led towards a really abusive relationship for the last two years. And so I could see that love that I was looking for in the beginning turned into like a total nightmare of, of never being enough for this person and, and never being good and never doing anything right. And um, yeah, it was, it was really heartbreaking. So when I found the training, I was pretty broken and uh, yeah, kind of had given up on love and, and relating in that way and and had actually had quite a, a, a strong fear of men from that point. So that's kind of where I started when I met Balanced View was um, really kind of at like the lowest point and, and feeling pretty low and bad about myself, like not loving myself at all. So. Yeah, we can, I can really relate, um, Michelle. And it's amazing how, you know, we're like taught from a young age or just, you know, learn this, train this up that um, uh, love really is something to, to be searched for and in, again, in people, places and things and that, um, there is not a lot of focus on just the, the pure, perfect love that we are. And so we set off at a, at a young age to, to find love in all these different ways. And, um, and usually when people, stumble across balance view have the incredible fortune of, of finding this training and what Candace has so generously uh, given and put together in such a powerful way that we're just done with the search for love. And it's really time to recognize this in our own experience. And how is it your relationship in terms of with your children? Um, of course, you know, we love our kids. That's just so innate. Yet, uh, I know for me in my life, I, I um, oftentimes lost that, that sense of love because I was just, you know, really um, being pushed to the wall a lot of times just through the, you know, chaos of, of, of my, my own thoughts, emotions, and sensations. And also my children's. 
Um, yeah. Uh, so for me, uh, I, I never had the, um, like, I was never one of those women who like really wanted to have children and I didn't spend a lot of time with children. And, and so, um, I had my first son and that changed everything for me because I had, I couldn't work for the park service anymore. So that was a big shift in my life. Like all of a sudden my whole future just poof disappeared. I had plans to, to, um, yeah, just like stay in that, that was my career field to, to be in the park service. And so almost right away becoming a mother, I had held a lot of resentment um, towards um, my partner and, you know, towards me having to change my life so much. And, and um, you know, I never really felt like I was like super present as a mom. It was like, yeah, this is what I want to do. Like, it was just kind of handed to me. And, and, um, and then later when I, I, then I was like, okay, I'm just having one kid. And then later in my next relationship, um, my husband wanted to have more children and, and I didn't at all. Um, but it turned out it wasn't a choice of mine in that relationship. It was not up to me whether we were having more kids. And so by the time I had three kids, which is a lot, I, um, you know, I, and I can think you could ask people who would say like, I was a wonderful mother and you know, like all this is going on inside of me that I just really could not enjoy parenting. Like it was, it is it just, is work, you know, and it was like um, not really the way I imagined it would be either. Like it was so much harder than than I imagined it to be. But yet, I mean, still, um, like still, even before the training, we had this closeness and and you know, love between us, regardless of what was going on with me. But there was definitely like a block there, and and. Um, Gradually, since meeting the training, and it's it's been like as I just allow that to be, as as I've allowed myself to not want to be a mother, as I've allowed myself to, you know, dislike parenting, and dislike and not be happy with my situation, like thinking, wow, like I really screwed up my life, you know, just allowing that to b has completely resolved all those feelings and so um yeah i mean now being a mother is and even just like just recently you know i just i'm in awe of how present i am with my kids and just how much love is shared and um yeah like it, it's almost like a miraculous change where i'm like all about being with my kids now and have this like total commitment to them and you know like just completely realize like I am here to empower them like that is my my place in their world and just seeing the total gift that they are and um and a lot of resentment after breaking up like I a, I never wanted kids. Like, B, I never wanted to be a single mom. Like, that's, you know, even like doubling up on that. And I just, I just allowed those feelings, as painful as they were, um, just to move through me. And, and yeah, it's, it's really beautiful now how, how things are with us and how just solutions are coming like so naturally and so easily to our days like I've just I've noticed a huge like our days are way more easeful there's way less fighting there's way less conflict in our home um I'm not annoying myself with the things I have to say like I annoy my own self talking to my kids and that's not happening anymore it's really beautiful um, well, that is incredible to hear, Michelle, being a mom myself and having a similar experience. I, uh, it's just, it is miraculous. And so it would be great to hear how you went from uh, 
you know, a dream job that you totally loved yet wasn't bringing you that satisfaction and fulfillment, a marriage and a few long-term relationships that did not ultimately satisfy that search for love and that feeling of wholeness, having kids that you know you you really weren't sure of, that you wanted to be a mother and and felt a lot of you know resentment had a lot of raging thoughts and emotions come up um, looking for love and you know relationships maybe you know nights with men and sex and intimacy to a life that you know where you're completely enjoying your kids you like are feeling that and knowing that love of who you are, that pure perfection that has nothing to do with anyone, anything, any circumstance, any thought and any emotion. So like what happened? You met the training and, and like what happened? How did this transformation take place? Because this is so exciting to hear. <laughs> Um, so yeah, when I met the training, it was pretty much like the day I moved out from my ex-husband and, and I was just so, I just remember putting a video on and I was just, you know, it, it was telling me that I was perfect as the, the trainer was just, you know, saying we're perfect as we are and like coming from where I'd come from of not being perfect at all or even close to it. I was just like, ah, it was just like a breath of, of fresh air and I was immediately like hooked in. Like I was just, yeah, it was like, it was just there. And um, so, yeah, uh, I kind of going through um, the years a little bit is like I, I really felt because I grew up in like the Christian like sex is bad and and um, that kind of ideas that I, I could see like at the start I really wanted to explore that and and test it and you know I um, I just wanted, I still, I didn't want a relationship, but I still felt like I really needed that sexual intimacy. Like there was no way I could survive without sexual intimacy. And so, um, yeah, I just, I, I, I did, I just kind of dove into that with, and, and, you know, keeping also like so open with with you with my trainer about everything that was happening regardless of like how silly I felt about like what I was doing like just being open that you know I wanted to look for sexual intimacy and try it out and um, basically finding that the energy that I put into seeking out that sexual intimacy was um, so not worth it. Um, so many of those um, relationships, like I don't even know if they were relationships, the intimate encounters ended for me, like just feeling so like heartbroken or exhausted or just like un so unfulfilling. And um, so I, I recognized, you know, that that definitely wasn't what I was looking for. And, um, and yeah, I slowly, I guess from that, I, I made the choice that, you know, I wanted to um, just be open to a different kind of intimacy that could be available in my life. And once I stopped seeking for sexual intimacy, um, I just, there was so much more energy available for my friends, for my kids, for my life. And um, I saw that I like, I started to be way more intimate with my girlfriends, like way more intimate with my girlfriends. Like there was not those lines anymore that this kind of intimacy is held just for a man, you know, like this kind of intimacy can be with anyone 
that we're with in any moment, anyone that I just meet, you know, I can hold that really intimate, like heart place with. And, um, you know, slowly that's really like opened up with the support of the community and, and the support of you this ever opening love to just see that like, yeah, like my whole world now is love. Like as soon as I could recognize that this love was in me and I wasn't looking for it in other people, then I could see like how much of that love was really all around me the whole time. And in so many ways, me, you know, finding and feeling this love in me allows people to open up to me. And um, that's what I'm seeing right now, like in my community that like people I just meet are telling me they love me. And like my friends that I've known for years are telling me they love me. And, and like, I see, I, I like, I play music every week with the same group of people. And that's become like this total love fest where before we were like, it's all men. So they're like, like there's all, you know, I don't know, it's just a different vibe. And, and now it's like, all so loving and, and like, so respectful. And, and it's just, I can see, like, looking back, it's just been like baby steps of short moments of showing up. And um, because I'm the only participant in my community, there's, there's no one else here who's involved in Balanced View. I can really see the effect of my involvement on, on the people around me. And um, yeah, I've, I've been noticing so much lately. Now that I'm not looking for an intimate relationship, I'm not looking for love from um, anywhere else. My life is so perfect. Like everything I ever dreamed of is happening right here, right now. Like there's no, I'm not looking to the future for anything. I'm not like, looking to the past, oh, I got here because of this. It's just like right in this moment, like this is everything I've ever wanted. Um, and yeah, that's love. It's, it's really amazing. Yeah. Wow, Michelle. Uh, yeah, this is incredible to hear. It's like almost like, wait, is this for real? Can this really happen? And yeah, we hear, stories like yours and different topics um, from participants, weekly participants around the world. And these results are just so authentic. It's clear and you're sharing that, you know, what you're, what you're saying is really how your life is now. So when you, you shared, when you met Balance View, when you stumbled across the training, you had a direct introduction to the nature of love to the nature of your mind. And this seemed to just open everything where it was confirmed what we already know to be true about ourselves because it's who we are. But that was confirmed in that video that you watched and that you just, wow, I, I'm hearing something that completely resonates. I want what this person has. You know, I want what this trainer is sharing about. And you seem to just dive headlong um, into the four mainstay support network and implementing all the key points and pith instructions that are actually very simple and very direct and bring about the results that you're speaking about. And that this is, you know, this was the case for me too. Uh, that this is available for everyone to really settle into, enliven and illuminate uh, that just pure raw knowing of the love of who we are. And then boom, our search ends, doesn't it? It's like, oh, we don't have to search for love in people, places and things anymore. It's, you know, enlivened in our own direct experience at all times. And then we can just carry on in our lives, sharing our strengths, gifts, and talents, empowering our, our relationship um, with ourselves and empowering our relationship with, you know, everyone. And how natural 
this way of living is. I mean, it's just, it's like, it sounds miraculous and it sounds almost too good to be true, but that it is our like most natural way of operating as this love. And then I know for me, when I didn't need to search for love anywhere out there or improve myself any longer to feel lovable, just that that intrinsic value of the, just the, the love that, you know, who we are is, became more and more obvious. And it was just easy to, to flow along in life, recognizing that love is the nature, is the basis of everything. And so specifically, it would be great to hear, you know, how your relationships, you shared a little bit, how your relationships are now in your band and, you know, what, what they're like with your kids. And, and what is that daily relationship with yourself? Like being with your thoughts and emotions. Of course, it's like not all of a sudden, okay, our thoughts are all like, oh, a fluffy cloud, you know, that the, the <laughs> crazy thoughts still rage sometimes. And you talked about, you know, the feelings you had towards your kids. And of course, you know, unwanted circumstances fall into our lap and intense emotions. Yet to directly experience, to tangibly uh, know the love within all of that is, is really key. And yeah, what's what did you, what's your daily life like with yourself right now? Um, well, right now it feels pretty joyous, <laughs> and um, I do like exactly what you were saying. Um, it just feels so natural. I feel this freedom that I've I've never felt before, um, and I I can see. I was thinking like this recognition of love, like it's like I'm having the same recognition over and over and over but it's like deepening each time each time i'm having this recognition it's like it just opens up so much more in my life and so i mean yeah right now i feel like completely free to completely free to be me and i'm not you know making decisions based on what i think this person's gonna think about me or what how that's gonna make me look or um, yeah, and so that is incredibly freeing. Um, but I was thinking how, too, like this last winter was was a really tough winter for me. Um, and, you know, just resting with so much big emotions, grief from from a friend's death and going through the the divorce case and worrying about you know like how that the outcome of that is going to be and and you know resting with these things that just seemed so much bigger than than me and yet you know still seeing love in all of that and um i remember like at times the data being so huge that, you know, I felt like maybe I, I was going crazy, like maybe I was going to lose my mind, but yet the support is there. Like I always have, you know, you to reach out to, I my trainer, and I always have the community to reach out to. And, and talks are like, um, I almost continuously have talks playing, like I'll walk in from work and it's like the first thing I do is put on a talk and, and all my housework I do to talks and like I just love housework now like it's just <laughs> I don't even notice that I'm doing it like I'm just like wow I just like got so much done in like the most complete relaxed way and and um yeah there's just such an amazing support out there for me I never you know I never need to feel alone in 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 what I'm feeling or in how my crazy dad, and even now, like I'm feeling really um, like joyous and happy and so present. And I see that hasn't changed my relationship at all with the mainstays. I'm still listening to talks all the time. I'm still like being really connected with the community and, and with you and, and um, you know, that never goes away. It's not like just my go-to when things are tough like it's there it's it's part of my lifestyle it's it's completely there for all times and 
And I just see too, like, I really don't hang on to this, like how I'm feeling now. I really don't expect, okay, this is going to be the rest of my life. And like you say, I'm going to be like floating on cloud nine forever now. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Like it's just not expected. And, and that was what I was going to say too, that was really important is, is really learning that um, and allowing myself not to have expectations for other people. That has been a big lesson in, in finding love in myself is, is just letting all expectations go and, and allowing everyone to be just as they are, as, as hard as that is sometimes, like just to rest with, with allowing, allowing everything to be as it is, everyone to be as they are. You've just had a um, real personal experience with that. Um, where there was a, a interest and um, you know, kind of had some expectations mm -hmm. about how things should be and how this person should be, and uh, you know, what happened there for you? What a, a, a incredible opening and insight came, and it wasn't the um, benefit that you thought you were looking for, but you got, you just received just an even greater uh, gift. And, and so how was that for you? Um, so yeah, I had like really strong feelings of attraction towards someone and I, I could not, you know, attraction is such a, an interesting topic. You know, I would ask like, what is attraction? <laughs> like, why are we attracted to certain people? Like, what is it that attracts us so strongly to, to certain people? And then, you know, through that attraction, like, you know, trying to build a relationship and, and yeah, like bringing in all those old ways, like expecting someone to act a certain way and, and then, yeah, then not, and me really, really like taking the time and, you know, learning through this training just to, be with myself during that time and like not put all my data onto another person and um, just look at things in, in rest with things that I never ever would have before. You know, I, I, um, yeah, I just couldn't have rested with, with, with a lot of things that I can now. And so, yeah, I had this, this really amazing, amazing recognition through this relationship that everything that like I was attracted to in anyone that I've ever been attracted to is like completely that's me that's who I am what I'm attracted to in that person I have that too like I don't need to have that person to have that in my life and um yeah it was just a really beautiful allowing of um I think someone being really sure of who they are and so then not <laughs> like, you know, when you're meeting people, you pretend to be something you're not. And, you know, I've done that a, a million times before, like, you know, really want to impress them and what, and then like that just wasn't, that wasn't happening. And um, so yeah, it's just amazing to be like, I think just have to face all my own data around that and, and just not, yeah, just, it's just not going the old ways that I had gone for so many years, like not making, like just making different choices and seeing that, um, yeah, like attraction doesn't mean that it, has to end in a conventional way. Like there's no saying that any of these intimate relationships we have at all need to end in the conventional way of two people being together, getting married, having, like it's, it's again freeing that we can be intimate with so many different people. And I think again, like leaving like that sexual intimacy out of it allows us to be free in different ways than, you know, we, we were, before in our past and and um, 
yeah, just to free, free to be as we are and do what we want, but still have that intimacy in our lives. And so I think that was really the biggest recognition for me, you know, just seeing that in that attraction that is in me. And, and that's where I recognize this, this love. Uh, mm, thank you. Thank you for sharing so openly, Michelle. Mm. Um, it is really powerful to just be living our daily lives with everything that comes up for us. And it is just here that we really get to know ourselves as we are. Uh, when we are supported completely in this confirmation of who we are, of the nature of love, of the nature of our mind, uh, then you know we're able to really, really enliven and be so insightful, you know, about how things actually are. You know, taking ourselves out of this box of the way we thought, you know, benefit looks and how things should look and our expectations to uh, expanding as this vast view that really sees everything as it is and allows everything to be exactly as it is. And uh, from there, accessing this clarity and discernment and how to, you know, respond in each situation that will be of most benefit. And that, ah, that is true love. Um, so thank you so much, uh, Michelle, for, you know, just, yeah, sharing your experience. It's been totally incredible to hear. And uh, your ongoing just commitment to um, open and expand this obviousness of love of who you are simply to be of benefit to contribute fully in your life. Yeah, thank you so much, Mia. It's, I feel like now I'm like, now that I'm here, I can go on and on of the benefits of, of knowing this. It's just so amazing to, to just experience all of this so directly. And yeah, I'm so grateful for, for you and everyone and Candace and yeah it's incredible luck and auspiciousness that I came across this training I'm so so happy there's a great chapter um, in the book one simple change which can be found on the balance view website it's a pdf for free download or on amazon you can order it uh, and there's a chapter on love and relationships that is just oh yeah, it, it, it really just sums everything up so clearly. It is a direct teaching on love and relationships, uh, really confirming how it is for all of us. And I'm just going to end by reading a paragraph here. When we completely rely on open intelligence, then our clear seeing starts to penetrate everything. And we see that love is not created by something outside ourselves, but is what we are. Forever free open intelligence has never been made into anything and yet includes everything. If we relax the complete indivisibility of everything and the love inherent in it become more and more obvious to us. There's nothing sweeter than effortlessly resting as love, seeing that love in everyone and every experience and letting perfect love flow through us to all. That is what is offered through the way of rest. And that really is what is offered through this training. So thank you very much to, to Candice for just making this so accessible to us all, confirming it in such a direct and powerful way and enlivening uh, the qualities of love in our own lives. And thank you again, Michelle. It's been wonderful to be with you. Yeah, thank you so much, Mia. And thank you, everyone. And if you would, if you really like what you hear here, um, we offer a, a calls that you can come on and speak to either Johan, myself directly sharing your direct experience, just as Michelle has. And um, yeah, they're very powerful. They're called Breakthrough Sessions. And we will post a link here and then we can also um, consider next steps together. So have a wonderful day, everyone. Thank you for being with us on Facebook. All of your comments, your hearts, your thumbs up. It's 
uh, great to, to really uh, share in this together. So much love to you all and uh, have a wonderful day, everyone. Yeah, love to you all. Have a good day. Thank you, Mia. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.